solved problems. Aging analysis. Sundry data's aging analysis. Problem. I am looking how can I do it. I want to create aging of my customers. I sell them and they pay but not as per bill but randomly. So I want to create aging such that each payment they pay, it will first deduct from the last bill and then second last and so on. Let us say I sell 100,000 to party A and they pay me after 10 days 60,000 and after 15 days I sell them 50,000 and then they pay 2 days after 30,000. So aging will look like for 1 to 15 days it is receivable is 50,000 for 15 to 30 days it is 10,000 total receivable is 60,000. The original transactions are date transaction party amount to payment. 7th November sale to A 250,000. 8th November payment from A 300,000. 8th November sale to B 316,000. Again 8th November sale to B 45,500. 8th November sale to C 300,000. 8th November sale to C again 100,000. 9th November payment from B 250,000. 10th November payment from C 350,000. 10th November sale to A 72,000. 10th November sale to A again 8,500. 10th November sale to C 6,750. 10th November payment from C 17,500. 10th November payment from B 56,250. 11th November payment from A 17,500. Again, on 11th November payment from A, 56,250. Aging example should be, the answer should be in this format, aging 1 to 15 days, 15 to 30 days, 30 plus days and balance, A, B, C and the respective amounts should appear. Solution. The data given in the problem is tabulated below. The total debits are 1,098,750 and total payments are 1,047,500 leaving a receivable balance of 51,250 from among the parties A, B and C. Let us make party wise receivable statement from the above information as under party wise receivables date, transaction, party, amount, payment, cumulative balance. Party A 7th November sale 250,000 8th November payment 300,000. 10th November sale 72,000. 10th November sale 8,500. 11th November payment 17,500. 11th November payment 56,250. Total sale to A is 330,500. Total payments received from A is equal to 373,750. There is a credit balance of 43,250 in A's account. Party B, 8th November sale 316,000, 8th November sale again 45,500, 9th November payment 250,000, 10th November payment 56,250, total sale to B is 361,500, total amount received from B is 306,250, there is receivable of 55,250 from B, Party C, 8th November sale 300,000, 8th November sale again to Party C 100,000, 10th November payment from C is 350,000, 10th November sale to C is 6,750, 11th November payment from C 17,500 total sale to C is 406,750 and total payments received from C is 367,500 there is a receivable of 39,250 from C grand total 1,098,750 is the sale 1,047,500 is the payments received there is a receivable of 51,250 from A, B and C. Let us make the adjustment of payments against the sales. Party A. He made a total payment of 373,750. They are adjusted against 7th sale, 7th November sale 250,000, 10th November sale 72,000, 10th November sale again 8,500 and 11th November payment is 43,250. There is an excess payment by A to the extent of 43,250. When comes to Party B, he paid 306,250 in total and it is against against the sale 8th November sale of 
316,000 leaving a balance of 9,750 from that sale. Subsequently, 5,500 sale on 8th November is unpaid. So, total dues from B is 55,250. When comes to party C, he paid a total of 367,500. Out of this 300,000, he suggested against his sale on 8th November. And 67,500 is against his sale 8th November of 100,000 leaving a balance of 32,500 unpaid. And uh, again, there is a sale of 6,750 on 10th November. So, still it is unpaid. So, there is a total receivable of 39,250 from C. From 8th November sale and 10th November sale. Let us find the ages of each transaction. The date is due date is 11th November 2022. That is the last transaction date. So, from the transaction original transaction date to this date if we calculate the number of days it comes 123 in the case of a 7th november sale 92 days in the case of a for the payment 11th august uh, sorry 8th november 31 days in the case of sale to a on 10th november 31 days in the case of sale to a 10th November. So, again, when comes to B, it is 92 days on the sale to him on 8th November, 316,000. 92 days on the sale of 45,500 on 8th November. 61 days on the payment by him on 9th November, 22. 31 days on the payment by him on 10th November. When comes to C, it is 92 days on the sale to him on 8th November. 92 days on the sale to him on 8th November, 31 days on the payment made by him on 10th November, 31 days on the sale to him on 10th November. Let us put the number of dates outstanding in the aging analysis. In case of A, there is an excess payment of 43,250 on the payment made by him 11th November. So, it comes under 1 to 15 days. In the case of B, there is an outstanding 9,750 from the sale 8th November. So, it comes under 30 plus days. In the second transaction, there is an outstanding of 45,500. Total sale is unpaid. Total receivable from him more than 30 plus days is 55,250. In the case of C, 32,500 is due from his sale of 100,000 on 8th November. So, it comes under 30 plus days. Similarly, 6,750 sale to him is still unpaid so it also comes under 31 plus 30 day, 30 plus days total dues from him is 939250 summary a has a credit balance 1 to 15 days for 33250 b has an aging of 30 plus days 55250 c has a receivable of 39250 in the age of 30 plus days total 1 to 15 days credit 43250 30 plus days total credit debit is 94,500. Net receivable is 51,250. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Accounts Lobby for various solved problems and lectures on accountancy.